Well, well, young lady. Is there something I can help you with? If you back your life, you will tell me where Sonic and Tails are. Time skip. Let's take care of business first, shall we, Sonic? Hand over the Chaos Emerald, slowly, and then we'll talk about your girlfriend. That is, if you really care for her. In the moment of Great Emerald, I can kill two birds with one stone. Put the Emerald down right there and back off. I mean, you're not wrong. Now let's see if this goes as well as it did last time. Because I remember doing this really well with Tails in the la in the last uh, story or the hero story, but you know. Okay, no, 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 no. What are you doing? Okay, you're doing this. You're doing the laser. I don't think so. Okay, that went really well. <laughs> I've just uh, I I've just started to get really good at the, the, that that fight now for some reason. I used to suck horribly. I guess he was just a regular hedgehog after all. Yeah, they make it a lot less obvious that Sonic survived. Legend has it with all seven chaos emeralds are collected. The power creates a miracle. I have six of them. They're mine. Oh my. I don't think so. Shadow. That was your plan. Or was it a direct order from the president? Now I know who you are. You're the government spy, Rouge the Bat, aren't you? Honestly, how would he know that? Like, people say, duh, how did you not know? Like, let's be, let's be real here. Shadow was in stasis for the longest time, and, like, he was just reawakened pretty recently. How is he supposed to know anything about that? Here are the results of the research project called the Ultimate Life Form. But if this picture is of the real Ultimate Life Form named Shadow... If we had a shadow, shadow and rage fight, that would have been really interesting. I'm not gonna answer you. I'm just gonna hang up. Shadow? No doubt. Even the memories might not be real, you know? Even if my memories are not real. 
Now, in theory, this is a cool level. In execution, this level is pretty annoying because there are these gravity tubes and they kind of just work when they feel like it. Like, th this has some cool ideas. Like, if you, some, like, like, um, Final Rush, you can find some pretty cool secrets if you jump high enough and whatnot. But the thing is, the gravity tubes just kind of ruin the fun because you can easily just screw up, get screwed over really easily by them and just and just lose your chance at a good rank. And when you're trying to get all the emblems, this can be really infuriating. Because <laughs> I think this was one of the last stages I had to A rank. And this is the this is also the level the reason this level is also the reason why I don't have Green Hill yet in the HD version and I don't really ever I don't really care enough to do that now because say so, um, who cares I don't even play that version anymore not that it's inherently bad I just I've just grown used to playing this game with the GameCube controller and I play I'm what some may consider a filthy console peasant. So, yeah. I mean, I'm not saying PCs, like, it's bad if you're a PC gamer. Do what you want, like, play what you want. But I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of playing around a little bit. Because I do play some PC games, just not a lot and not often. Music's pretty nice though, I would admit. And the level design, again, the level design isn't inherently bad. It's just the fact that these gravity tubes are just glitched to hell. So if they were to remake this game, uh, similar to like Crash Insane Trilogy, the f one of the first things I'd want is for them to fix these tubes, because, uh, really if you ask me, there's not really too much that needs changing in this game. Like, that uh, makes some controls a little bit more refined, I guess. But, I don't know. I don't think there's really much you need to change in this game. Like, just, just little small things. Like, make it less glitchy and stuff like that, obviously. But, SA1, you'd need to really remake that. Like, you really had to change almost everything in that game. Because it's, by today's standards, it's pretty... It's pretty badly designed. I'm not saying it's a bad game, but just like mechanic, like it, it's pretty, it's pretty glitchy. Let's be honest. So I, I think SA1 would need more changes overall. All right, so we can stay up here and then we can get some thing or not. Let's just. Alright, whatever. I'm trying to remember where the item is in this stage. Like, I honestly don't remember where, where the item is. Yeah, you kind of just get stuck on things. This is like... I think the issue is, is that they're just a bunch of tubes on top of each other, because you can see, like, the, they're kind of repeating themselves, like, visually, and, yeah, you can kind of tell that they're, or, like, basically just a bunch of tubes on top of each other, on top of each other, and I think that's why they end up being so glitchy sometimes. I could be wrong about that, but that's what I'm assuming. And it's also a really long uh, stage as well, so when you when you're really far in and you get having a really good run, and then you die because of something stupid, it really demoralizes you. Oh, I think I know where it is. I think it's up there. I don't know if I. 
Screw it, I'm gonna go for it. Can't believe I reached it. Oh wait, what am I doing? The, it was the Mystic Melody that was the item. That's a, up there is a hidden chair. I'm stu <laughs> I'm stupid. I don't know why. I was like, I got the Mystic Melody. Ooh, I wonder where the item is. But yeah, we got pretty much all of Shadow's ability. Like, let's see, we got the light speed dash. We got the uh, light speed attack. We got the flame ring. And we got the Mystic Melody, yeah, we got all four abilities. So we completely leveled up Shadow to the max. Here we go. That should be A. If it's not, I'll not be happy. <laughs> Good. Ultimate victory. Okay, so we only missed Sky Rail, I think? Cease to surprise me, Blue Hedgehog. I thought that capsule you were in exploded in space. You know what can I say? I die hard. <laughs> There's more to you than just looking like me. What are you anyway? What you get? Just a guy that loves me. I'm Sonic the Hedgehog. Why wow, this why is this music so loud? Yeah, and also skips over Sonic's explanation of the fake emerald and all that. So, so it just kind—I—I of, I do kind of like stuff like that. It makes you want to play the other stories and to know what happened exactly. All right, but yeah, th this is basically the same as the Shadow, uh, the fight with um, Shadow in Hero Story. The only difference is that instead of Chaos Spears, Sonic shoots out a Sonic Wind attack. And other than that, it's pretty much the same fight. Just get him five times and you're good. And the music is still as awesome as ever, and I didn't want to weave away like, like, weave to the side like that. Oh crap. Alright, let's just get away. Yeah, it's a little, more, little bit more dangerous for Shadow, because you don't have the bounce brace to look. Cool, got him. Alright, two more hurts. Right, can I do this? Oh, I messed up. That was close, I almost screwed myself over. Also, just if anyone if anyone's curious, this stage can actually end. Like this th there's an end to this giant like massive like road here. You'd really have to try to uh, like go to the end without like without winning, but you know you can still there's there's an end. Okay, that was close. Woo! All right. We did it. <laughs> this completes my plan to take over the world. Now we will enter the glorious era of the Empire of Eggman. Alright, and that's going to be it for Dark Story, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and again, I'm going to save my thoughts for the final story credits, so I'm going to leave you, you, leave you guys with the uh, Dark Story credits, and I'll see you guys for final story. See you guys then.
Sonic Adventure 2, last episode, Wishes are Eternal. <laughs>